And Stewart agents were quickly able to focus in on this suspect. So what do you think would have been key in tracking him down so soon after? Well, in this particular case, they got very lucky. There was a treasure trove of evidence that was left behind. Number one and most compelling was video surveillance. It's very hard to go about in New York City without being under video surveillance. There are cameras throughout the entire city. That was very, very helpful to law enforcement initially. Also, latent fingerprints and DNA, because we know some of the bombs did not detonate. Once they were safely um, diffused, uh, crime tech individuals, people with the expertise, were able to get latent fingerprints, and we know that those fingerprints ultimately uh, led back to the subject who ultimately was apprehended. So what happens now in terms of the investigation? Well, the FBI wants to slow the pace down a little bit. They want to make sure that they connect any potential dot in the equation, meaning any accomplices, any co-conspirators, any accomplices before the fact, any accomplices after the fact. And also they want to take this opportunity as a learning moment to also see how they can do things better if, God forbid, something like this happens again. I think most concerning to the FBI, the law enforcement community, is did we make a mistake in not properly focusing in or identifying this individual or these individuals prior to the act that occurred over the weekend. Because we know that he was not on any watch list. At least that's what they're saying right now. And that's correct. And so the FBI, with its counterparts, wants to see what they did right and what maybe they can improve on so that hopefully they can identify these type of individuals in the future. All right.